Hi, it's a very nice fall day here in Seattle and I'm by a very nice canal over here. It's quite beautiful, leaves are falling and it's a good place to talk about a topic I wanted to touch up on. I made some videos about Seattle recently and I've lived here for almost 20 years and more than half of my life at this point. So when I made those videos, I do it from a local perspective and they generated a lot of traffic and a lot of comments and the majority of the comments were very nice and people quite agreed with me but the comments fall into two large categories often and i want to talk about those types of comments so one kind of comment is whenever i say something critical and the comments are something like this no you can never say that there's never anything bad about seattle how dare you say that blah 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 and just people get angry that anything can ever be criticized and it's a very slanted uh, one-sided type of opinion and then on the other side uh, i get a lot of these other comments which are yeah seattle is a total hellhole is the worst place in the world no one should ever go there i haven't been in 30 years and i'm never coming back so which one of these is the truth because there's such polar opposites i will tell you that neither is true though there is truth to both of them and that's why people make them and this is why it is interesting right now what is happening the reason people react so differently to the same video is because right now the culture and the country is so polarized and it's, they're not exactly commenting on Seattle per se but actually what Seattle represents in the minds of the public and that is the interesting part so it is because of this polarity, the polarization of society, and because Seattle represents um, a pretty far left city at this point, but it's not entirely that, but in most people's minds, it is that. And so whenever you talk about Seattle, actually, people think that you're attacking either their ideology or you're affirming their ideology based on what you're saying. So whenever I say something good about Seattle, something bad about Seattle, people from either camp start um, piling up such comments <laughs> and they're very uh, neither is a balanced actual objective point or opinion so this is the thing uh, what is the truth about Seattle then the truth is in the middle and I'll tell you the truth so Seattle is indeed a very good city so I'll start with the good things about Seattle and what is really good about Seattle is the geography first of all it's on the sea it's in a very nice harbor tucked in from the ocean and things like that so the nature here is splendid simply among the best in the world all around me like you can see is water and trees and the climate here is also very mild and we have some really great mountains nearby and all kinds of terrain actually it's islands lakes desert plains all kinds of terrain and it's very very nice in a whole lot of ways because of that seattle very quickly became a big city and from almost no people something like 2000 natives at first 150 years ago it is now in the metropolis over four million people more so four and a half million people so you see people caught on to the fact that this is a very good place to live and they started moving here by the millions so yes seattle as a location as a geography is actually fantastic and that even includes the weather which is uh something that most people may even disagree about but the truth is that the weather here in seattle is very mild and you almost never have extremes here it almost never freezes it is almost never too hot it is almost always comfortable except sometimes it's quite gray and wet but it is never forever you know it's not too long it doesn't rain steadily it's kind of like on and off drizzle or something like that so actually if you know how to deal with the weather it's a very good climate and it's not bad at all so because of that coastal marine beautiful people have been moving here a lot in the last century and a half so from that point of view seattle is fantastic and this is one of the main reasons that i still live here and this one has not really lost much luster more and more people actually keep understanding how good this is even with the weather having such bad reputation which actually is not quite called for people keep coming and coming here and that is the fact uh, the next thing that brings people into Seattle and it's a very good thing is the local economy so 
Seattle has some of the very best corp companies to work for in the world. We can go for a while to name many, but I'll name some of the main ones. That is Amazon, Microsoft, Starbucks, Boeing, many more, many, many more. Hey, some smaller ones are REI and Costco is here. It just continues on and on. We have Blue Origin, another company by Bezos for space things and many, many other startups that are doing very high tech and all kinds of innovation happens here. The wages are very high. A survey just came out that Seattle has the second highest tech wages on the West Coast. And I think that actually means the world because tech wages are the highest on the West Coast. Many people come here every single day looking to make a better future for themselves. And that is also great. So Seattle is a place where you can come with nothing from anywhere and you can make it. And it has drawn a lot of people in the last um, 10 years. Over a million people have come here, or at least that's how much the population has grown. So in both of those ways, Seattle is a fantastic city. So when people come and comment on these videos, how horrible Seattle is, what kind of hell it is, that is the third world, and all these things, um, those things are not true. And, and that's a fact. So Seattle continues to draw a lot of people. People here continue being among the richest in the world, including some of the richest of all, uh, Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, the late Paul Allen, many, many people, Steve Ballmer. We have so many billionaires, so many successful people. So you can't make the case that Seattle is not a good place to live, that Seattle is not a place you can make it and live well, and so on. So why do people say all these horrible things about Seattle lately? And why are they so negative? Well, it looked like for a while, actually, Seattle was going to be a top grade city, something like a Singapore or a London or all these other places in the world, which are very renowned, Amsterdam, maybe one of them and Paris and so on. So Seattle was right on the cusp to try to break into those cities. But those cities have been established for a long time, for centuries, most of them and they have traditions and so on and so they've been built up over time but seattle is very new so seattle still has a lot of building and developing to do a lot of evolving of the way it does things and i would say right around 10 or even eight or five years ago it looked like seattle will indeed get into that rank it had the income for it it was drawing a whole lot of talented people to work here and they has come up with some projects and transit system and so on to try to make it a world-class city. However, in the more recent years, more like two to five years or so, Seattle has been on the decline. It, it took a turn for the worse. And that is also a fact. And um, it isn't so much that all the good things went away. It is that bad things have been invited here as well. And that has to do with homelessness, with drug abuse, with crime and it really comes down to mismanagement you know the the city's um, public sector unlike its private sector which is phenomenal the city's public sector is quite inept and you could say incompetent um, perhaps it's too idealistic it, it tries to create things that are not really rooted in reality and the result has been really really bad what you have heard is true. Indeed, Seattle had riots. Indeed, Seattle has a lot of homelessness and they do live in camps on the side of the road and they do produce a whole lot of trash and there is crime. And so all the bad comments are also rooted in reality. So both the good comments and the bad comments are rooted in reality. And that is the fact. And people simply choose to look at it one way or the other. Uh, me, someone that has lived here for almost 20 years, I see for both sides of it. I, I see it for what it is and I don't really mince words or try to sugarcoat. I will tell you when something is very good and when something is very bad. So to me, Seattle remains a very, very good place to live. But the tragic thing about it is that it is squandering great potential. And, and that is also a fact. So this is the truth. Um, Seattle indeed could be one of the greatest cities in the world. It could be up there with some of these places that look just about perfect, like the cities I listed out there. But um, currently that is not the case. And you see uh, degrading conditions here. 
you see the roads here you see the trash all around us and that is really sad because it's not for the lack of resources we have so many resources when it comes to geography when it comes to water when it comes to good weather when it comes to the economy and all these powerful companies and so on all that is there in place to make a fantastic if not almost utopic place to live something like a singapore or the swiss cities like zurich or something like copenhagen these are clean cities wealthy cities developed cities beautiful cities safe cities and seattle easily could be one of them however it is not um, and it could have been like i said it looked like it's on track for something like that but it is not it is actually more so unfortunately become like some of the dangerous cities in california like san francisco Oakland, la it has become more so trashed it has become dangerous and so many people feel justified to say many things that are wrong and horrible here and the city will be forever terrible that is not true either it will take so little to fix the city it will be so easy however you have to have the right people in place the right mindset in place the right attitude and you have to commit to fixing it for example a city like singapore was basically the third world and singapore is famous for becoming first world from the third world in one generation and that really just took one good leader one leader took control of that city state and he was able to make it into something amazing if you go there it's so hard to find something wrong with that place and indeed um, in the 70s or so if you were to go there it, it was really full of slums and uh, it was not the same at all so what was done was a very determined visionary leader um, did what it took and fixed it in one generation and now it's actually at the top of almost every list so you have such a dramatic reversal in one generation singapore is a place on an island in the equator with jungle and swamp on it it doesn't even have enough water to supply to its people and it has brutal conditions and yet it has managed to develop so well to be so safe and so clean and it has now some of the best standard of living some of the best conditions of living in the world so how did that happen that's it it took leadership it took a vision and they were able to do it they have almost no resources they have to recycle and import water for example but still they made it happen here in seattle we are simply loaded with all kinds of resources we have all the water possibly needed we have great mountains around us are great agricultural lands our climate is so easily handled by the human body and so it is so easy to develop here but somehow it doesn't happen so this is why people are so divided about the city in their sentiment and some choose to take only the bad some choose to take only the good very few people will actually do what i just did and go over the good and the bad um, is it the best place ever no and in fact when things took a turn for the worst my wife and i we thought of leaving and if you look back on our channel we did a trip through the entire west and we looked around for a new home so we visited every place in the west we have seen them all and we were so determined we almost moved to colorado we were so determined but there's no sea in colorado it feels like a downgrade compared to seattle and we almost moved to arizona but there's almost no water at all down there so that too would be a downgrade there's no green it's all desert and we were really really happy when we went to florida and we thought about moving there but the issue is that there is no mountain there the entire place is flat so you cannot hike you can't really spend much time in nature even though other things are quite good there and that's how it is so it's very very hard to find a better place to live actually even if you look beyond the usa more broadly it's still very very difficult to find a better place so we have looked we have thought we can upgrade and we cannot find such a place that is better and that means it's quite good actually and sometimes it takes looking around for something else to realize that it also takes a certain kind of maturity and to 
be able to say, hey, what I have is actually pretty good. Um, more recently, we actually became quite fond of the climate. Like many other people who don't grow up here, we thought the climate is really bad and annoying, especially right now in the fall, it starts getting soggy and chilly. However, we found out that it really just takes putting yourself out there and adapting to it. And it actually becomes among the best climates in the world because it is always cool, it is always breezy. It is never too hot, it's never muggy, it's never freezing. You, the weather will almost never kill you. Very seldom, if you're even on the streets, you actually die because of the weather. So Seattle has a lot of good as well. So it's hard, hard to live, but it is frustrating to see all these problems stack up when it can be done so much better. So many things can be done so much better. So if you're following this channel, I will show you the good and the bad. And I have many more topics picked out because that is the place we live in. No place is perfect. And that's a really important thing to realize. No place is perfect. If you only thought you, need, you deserve the best and everything has to be the best, you will keep looking and looking and approaching and approaching. And I see such people in the world and they keep searching. But the fact is that this place is one of the best and there are no perfect places. That's the truth about Seattle.